and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my January empties, so all the different beauty products that I've used up, what I thought of them, whether I will repurchase. Um, it's not that long since I uploaded an empties video. My first ever video was my December December empties, but I didn't upload that until kind of halfway through the month, so it wasn't that long ago. It was only like a couple of videos back, but that's what I'm going to be doing anyway. So let's get on with it. Let's talk about what I've got here. I've got a pile of products at the side of me that I've used up. I'm just going to talk about them, see what I think. First one that I'm picking up here is the Nooks or Nooks, I'm not really sure how you say that. Um, this is the Ultra Luxurious Body Cream with Anti-Aging. I got this in the M&S Advent Calendar, I believe. Um, I did really, really enjoy this. I thought this was, you know, it went into the skin really nicely. It wasn't sticky or greasy or anything like that. Don't always remember to use body creams like that often. It's just like a body lotion kind of thing. Um, but when I do, I did, I did really enjoy this. I have looked up the price to repurchase and it's like £46 or something ridiculous so um, yeah, that's that's not going to happen but I would definitely um, use that again, do really really like that. The next thing that I've got, this is another thing that I got in the, I think this was in the MNS Edward calendar, um, this is the This Works Deep Pillow Spray, Deep Sleep, Deep, start again, the Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. Um, this is the first time I've actually tried this one, I know this is kind of like a, a cult one that This Works but um, I have used other pillow sprays, um, which is like an Avon one and a Primark one, and they've all been, they've all kind of done the same thing, they just, they just sort of smell nice, they smell sort of relaxing, I don't really know whether they actually send you to sleep or help you go to sleep, um, but yeah, this this was nice, and again, I have looked at the price to repurchase this, and it's probably not something that I would want to pay for this sort of product, um, but I would, I would use that again, I did like that. The next thing that I've got, I've got two of these, um, I didn't even know that I had two, uh, but if you managed to use them both up, these are the Sanctuary Spa Body Scrubs. Um, I've got both of these just in like little Christmas gift sets. Um, they're really nice, really nice little scrubs. They're not my favourite, um, but they do the job. I think I managed to get through them like super quickly though, because obviously I've used them both up in one month. I will have, like, one of them would have been like half empty or something. Um, but yeah, I do get through body scrubs pretty quick, so I don't know whether that's just me, but these, these I got through, like, these are like 50 mil, so... Um, I really like these. I don't know whether I would go out and rebuy them though. I think I have other scrubs that I prefer. The next thing that I've got, I do a lot of stuff that I've got in here is kind of like miniatures or things from like advent calendars because obviously I had I had the MS advent calendar and the Debenhams advent calendar over Christmas, so I do have quite a few things from there or things from Christmas gift sets as well. So this is another gift set item. This is the Bayless and Hardin Limited Edition Rose Prosecco um, Frizz Body Wash. I've had a few of these from Bailey's and Harding, like I always get stuff like that at Christmas, I really like bath sets actually. Um, this one, I really liked this, This um, the smell was really nice, I don't know if it was like a rosé prosecco, but it, it was nice. It was kind of like a gel cream te texture, um, and again I got through it really quickly, this is this is a 100ml of product. Um, I did like it, but I don't, to be honest, it, I don't think you can go out and repurchase this anyway, um, but it's not something I'd like rush out to rebuy, but I did enjoy using it. Another mini thing that I've got is the a miniature of the Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Daily Cleansing Pads. I love these. I have the, the full size, obviously. I really, really enjoy those. And this, I had um, I had a few of these little travel ones um, that I just bought for kind of weeks away. And you get you get in here, you would get like sort of five miniature pads, but they are, they're really, really small. They are like, this is the size of them. Um, I don't have the full size down here, but compared to the full size they're really tiny so for the money it kind of it's not cost effective. It, I think it's fine if you want to try them out or if you are travelling but it's kind of mm, you, you're just better off buying the full size. I do love the full size and um, I think they do work really really well for my skin but now I'm not too bothered about the travel size again. The next thing that I have is a little mini Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara um, and I got this in I think I got this in one of the sets that I bought from Tarte. Um, Tarte do now ship to the UK and they do have, um, they add the customs charges on when you buy from their website. So if you are in the UK and you are after Tarte makeup, I think that's really, really good. I don't know how the price compares to, I think the other, the only other Tarte supplier in the UK is QVC. So I don't really know about that, but I did, I've always been really, really happy with my purchases from the Tarte website. Um, and this mascara, I really, really like this. It has made my lashes kind of fluttery and feathery and I like that look. And it, it paired well with really, with other mascaras if I wanted something a bit more dramatic. It's just got a little bristle brush. Um, I do have, I think I have another mini of this from another set. And I did pick up um, like a limited edition version as well. I did buy a full size of it. So yeah, I've definitely already repurchased that basically. 
do really, really like that. Would re really recommend tart mascaras in general. I think they're really good. Um, another makeup item. This is the Revolution Pro. It's one of the skinny brow pencils. I don't know what it's called because it, it literally just says Revolution Pro on the packaging. It doesn't say anything else. I don't know what shade this was in either because that's not that's not written anywhere on the packaging. But it was kind of it was like a chocolate brown and it was too warm for me. Um, I'm not a big lover of skinny brow pencils because I have to like really fill in. I have to completely draw on the tail of my brows. Um, so it takes a lot of product to do that with this type of pencil. But I think for the front of your brow, if you just want really precise little hairs, I do get why people like them. Um, there was nothing wrong with this one. It's, it's just the colour wasn't right and I don't really enjoy skinny brow pencils. So um, I probably won't pick that one up again. Next thing that I've got, a little mini item. This is the Tarte Marajuka C um, Brightener Eye Treatment. So it's a little mini eye cream. It's a little pot. Um, I really, when I picked this up, I really, really liked this when I first got it. I thought it was really brightening for my under eyes. Um, and then after a while, I kind of felt like, oh, my eyes are looking a little bit dry. Um, but to be honest, that seems to happen every time I try a new eye cream. I always really like it at the start and then end up not liking it. So I'm not too sure whether I would go out of my way to rebuy that one. But I did. I enjoyed using it. It was nice. Um, another thing that I got from one of the advent calendars, I'm not sure, I think it was the um, the M&S one again. This is the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer. Um, the Intensive Super Conditioning Pre-Shampoo Treatment for All Hair Types and it's supposed to add elasticity, manageability bit oops, say that again, manageability, bounce and shine um, this, I did use this, I didn't really use it how you're supposed to I don't think you kind of, you're supposed to put it on before shampooing, apply it in sections and then cover with a plastic cap and I, I didn't even have a plastic cap so I didn't really follow the instructions exactly but from when I did use it I just I don't think it did anything for my hair, I couldn't tell what it did, so that's not something that I would be interested in rebuying based on that really. Um, something else that I have here, this is the Colourpop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Overboard. Um, it's just kind of a metallic browny colour. This, I think, I actually ordered another shade of this eyeliner and Colourpop sent me this one by mistake. But I did, I did like it because it is a nice sort of neutral shimmery brown colour, it went with a lot of eye looks. Um, so I did get some use out of that. I'm not a massive lover of eyeliner. I don't wear it a lot anymore. And this one, I think the last, I didn't actually fully use it up, the last little bit of product kind of fell out of the packaging. Um, so that's a bit annoying. But I do think they're nice. They're like, they're like $5 or something. So I do think they're worth the money. Um, and they, I don't know if you can pick that shade up anymore. I think that might be discontinued. But I would I would use a colour pop eyeliner again. Another bath item here. This is another Sanctuary Mini from one of the Christmas gift sets. This is their Foaming Bath Soak. Um, and I have used this before, I think. It's okay, it does a job, it's basically just a bubble bath. Um, I don't like the packaging, it's like this really stiff plastic, but I don't think, if you can buy the full size of this, I don't think it, it hopefully is better packaging. But I found this really difficult to get the last bit of product out because it is such a, a hard plastic. Um, it's nice, but it's just, it's not really anything super impressive, it's just a bubble bath. Next thing that I've got, kind of a boring thing, this is the Mitchum deodorant. Um, this is the only deodorant that I buy now, I find it just keeps me sweat free all day um, and it's just it's just the best I will always continue to repurchase this I love it the next thing that I've got another firm favorite this is the Clinique moisture surge um, 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator I think I don't have to change the formula of this I think it used to be called something slightly different to that but um, I still enjoyed this one I have tried the old one as well um, this is just a really really good moisturizer especially if you have got like my skin's kind of on the oily side um, I find it just really hydrates my skin, it sinks in really quickly, it doesn't leave me kind of feeling greasy which is what, yeah, what I hate with oily skin. Um, so I, yeah, I really really enjoy that. I like to use it as well. When I first had a little sample of it, I used to use it kind of like to dab under my eyes if my makeup looked dry or anything like that. Um, so I do sometimes still use it for that and it's really good at that as well. Just really 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 love it. The little miniature that I've got here, this is the Peter Thomas Roth um, Cucumber Gel Mac. I got a set of these um, in the Black Friday sale. And this is the first one that I finished up. This is supposed to be like an ultra hydrating one. And it was nice, I did I did enjoy using it, but I don't really need like ultra hydration, so for that reason I don't think it was ever really going to be my favourite mask from the set. But I did like it, I just I don't think I would go out and buy, pay the full size price for that. The next thing that I've got, this is something that I really really enjoyed, this is the Soap and Glory Bubbles in Paradise um, Refreshing Body Wash. I picked this up in the autumn time, I think like maybe October or something. Um, and I don't really know, I think it was, I think it's supposed to be like a new range, but the packaging's kind of all summery, so I'm not sure why they bought that one autumn, but I did enjoy this actually, it was really relaxing, it smelled really nice, 
Um, so I would consider going out and picking up another one of that. I do have a few kind of body washes to get through, obviously. The Christmas gift set, Strike Again. But um, I will, I think, when I run out, I might go out and repurchase that, especially if I find it on offer. I think it was, like, on a trial price when I bought it. So Another body care item um, that I got in a gift set. This is the a miniature of the Body Shop Sheer Exfoliating Sugar Body Scrub. I have used this before. I think I've had the full size of this before, and it's not my favourite from the, um, the Body Shop Scrubs. It kind of, because it's just the sheer stuff, it's kind of like, it's got kind of like a greasy, oily texture. It kind of leaves my skin feeling a little bit filmy. Um, which I don't really like. The actual sugar texture is really, really nice, so I would um, I would definitely like try another Body Shop sugar scrub, but I don't really like this year's scented one. Getting to the end now. Um, the last makeup item, this is the Steeler Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner, and this is in the shade Lionfish. Um, I got this in the M&S Advent Calendar, so I obviously haven't been able to use this all up in that time. It's one of those twisted ones. And I don't know if mine was faulty or something, but the twist up, like, it wouldn't twist up anymore. And when I tried to fix it, the whole product just came out and broke. And I just gave up. I do have, I've got far too many eyeliners to try and finish up to then to try and fix this one. I have contacted m &S about it, just like, I don't know if there's anything they can do, but just to say, like, oh, I think I received a faulty one. Um, so I don't know whether... I did like it, but I didn't really get enough chance to try it out to say, like, oh, yeah, I'd, I'd rush out and rebuy that. I think it just felt like any standard eyeliner to me. Um, but it was nice, it was a nice colour, it's just a shame that I didn't really get a proper chance to, to give it the test. Um, the next item that I've got, this is from Primark, the PS Brightening Peach Frappe Mask. Um, I only use this once, there is still enough product in here for probably like two or three applications. Um, the reason I only used it once is that the day after, my skin kind of started breaking out. And it probably wasn't this, because I've used loads of Primark masks and not had any problems. I know there are some people who are a bit funny about Primark skincare, but honestly... Some of their stuff is really, really good, and I have used their mask before. So it probably wasn't that, but I was kind of a little bit wary of, of trying it again, just in case it was. Um, so I probably wouldn't go out and buy this one again, but the, I do really like some of their masks. Some of them have had really, really good results for me. And the last thing I've got, is just something I wanted to mention quickly, this is also from Primark. It is um, one of those, like, Invisibubble things, but it's, well, the Primark version. And it has snapped, so I've put that into my empties plus. But I really, really like these. Um... I think that they're really, really good just for kind of putting your hair up and you don't have to worry about it. The, the day after, you, you don't end up with like the big marks in your hair where you've had a bobble. Um, so I do really, really like using those and they're just they're so much easier to use, I think, than normal hair elastics. So I'll definitely pick some more of those up. I've still got loads left, obviously, but yeah, that one broke. Oh, that was sad. Um, but yeah, that was everything that I used up in the month of January. Um, let me know down below if you've used any of these things, what your thoughts are. And do, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I will see you in my next video. Bye!